review on the Oregon Trail. So we're going to start off by beginning with Travel the Trail. So I think we should be a banker. Yeah, because you get the most money for a banker. Alright. So what do you want the name? Kiwasabi. So wasabi. And then Kiwasabi. Do Bobby and Jack and Jill. <laughs> Alright, these are just some random names that we chose. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes, yes. So why? Why is for yes and N is for no. So I think we should ask for some advice here. If you leave too early, you attend a public meeting and also folks with California, Oregon fever. You're told if you leave too early, there won't be any grass for you to, for your oxen to eat. If you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter comes. If you leave at just the right time, there will be green grass and the weather will still be cool. So I think we should leave like in the middle. I so think May. April, because like May, you get to June and July really fast, and then you get to like winter's almost there before you get there. True. So try April. April? Yeah. Uh, dependents, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600 in, in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. Alright. Right. So we're going to Max. Alright. So you want to get like. First, we'll see the oxen. We need two oxen, too. Two. It says at least three, so you want to do four? I so, like, four, yeah. Yes. If anything happens. And then food. Um, I'd say a good amount of food because there's five of us. Yeah, so two a thousand pounds of food. Oh, I think that's a little too much. Nah, you could carry two. You can do a hundred. A thousand, yeah. Yeah, all right. A thousand. It's only two hundred bucks. Yeah. So we still uh -huh. have clothing. I think we need like two or three sets per person. So. And we have five, about? so that's like about twenty. Twenty yeah. sets. That should do it. It's two hundred. Mm -hmm. um, ammunition. ammunition. Get, get, get like a hundred maybe boxes. Yeah, because that's only twenty dollars. No, twenty boxes. Yeah, twenty boxes. Okay. And then some and spare, spare parts. parts. Want to do four of each so we can three like three of each. You can only do three. Three? Why can like because for the wheels? You can only do, you can only do three though. Your wagon can only hold three. Watch like if you try to do four. Only uh, can. So I say three of each. Okay. And if you want to use this in schools, it's good for like social studies class the history because like it teaches you how people live back then like the struggles the, of life back yeah, then i agree it also like shows you like real life and like yeah. how people used to like go through we're gonna save some more money <laughs> okay Continue. so we yeah. think like the graphics are kind of like old-fashioned and the music is pretty on point yeah so up here we have the weather it's cool because we started in april health is good which is means everyone's healthy i think we should just keep the pace and rations the way they are right yes mm -hmm. well, well let's, let's talk to people first to see if okay. we have all these options let's talk to people your dream tells you better take extra sets of clothing treat them to indians for fresh vegetables fish or meat it's dwellers hiring an indian guide at river crossings ex except to pay them they're sharp traders not easily cheated all right, that's some good advice. Yeah, so you want to get like two sets of clothing, maybe? Because we ha we already have a lot. At the next place. At next place. All right. So let's just go. Independence. It's 102 miles to the Kansas River crossing. All right. Here you just have your little ox pulling you in the wagon. Yeah. I mean, again, the graphics are pretty old-fashioned. Yeah. I think they can obviously improve. Yeah. Severe thumb sore. Lose one day. Okay. All right. You are now at Kansas River Crossing. What would you like to look around? Yes. Um. So, let's try and like trade because we can take the yeah. guy's advice. Attempt to trade. You will meet another immigrant who wants one a wa wagon axle. He will trade you 76 bullets. I think we already have a good amount of bullets. We have 400, so I don't think we need any more. Yeah. That's Plus, we need spare parts. Yeah. So, and for now. Uh, let's talk to people. Right. With the crowds of people waiting to get on the ferry, we could be stranded here for days. Hope there's enough graze for all those animals. Not many people carry feed. I'd rather wait, though, than cross in a rickety wagon boat. 
Alright, so let's continue on trail. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 648 feet across and 7.5 feet deep in the middle. I think the ox, I think I remember it said we can only go two and a half feet. Yeah. So I think we're going to have to pay for the ferry. Um, take a ferry let's take across. a ferry across. Yeah. Fair everybody says that you that you will charge five dollars and that you will have to wait six days. Are you willing to do this? Yes. Six days. It's a lot, but it's worth it. I mean, yeah, true. Because we don't want any. We don't want to flood or anything. Yeah. Or drown. Nice graphic little cutscene. Yeah. Okay, there's the other side of the river. I mean, it kind of lags too, though. Yeah. You know, Fairy got your party wagon safely across. That's good. Mm -hmm. From the Kansas River Crossing, it is 182 miles to the Big Blue River Crossing. All right, all right. So let's keep going. 82 miles. Almost there. You want to just skip this because we have like enough food and we're like health is good. We don't need anything, right? No, we don't need anything. So we just skip, right? Almost cross the river. It's three feet. You want to wait and see if it like. Yeah, let's wait to see if conditions improve because that's always a good choice. Yeah. For a day. So we wait again. Wanna, yeah, let's try and wait again. It might get more though. True. We want to wait one more day. True. Yeah. Because it's going down. Okay. Uh, let's uh, attempt to ford the river because. Two point five. <coughs> All right, we're going across. Doesn't seem anything that bad. Okay, we made it. Supplies got wet. We lose one day. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. It's better than waiting like those six days. Yeah. From the Big Blue River, it is 118 miles to Fort Kearney. All right, so it looks like we're going to a fort. That's good. We can always buy supplies there. Yeah. I mean, our health is always still good. But Pretty we're losing good food. food. Yeah. We might get some food. Trade it, maybe. Buy some food. Yeah. yeah. We'll just look on. Yes, definitely. Um, weather's cold, pace is steady. Um, uh, I feel like we should buy supplies. Or you want to see if, like, anyone wants to trade? Yeah, let's, uh, let's attempt to trade first. Yeah. No, that's, like, how, that's how many Oh, I missed. Press zero. Um, uh, attempt to trade, it's seven. Seven. He wants one wagon axle. We'll trade you 36 pounds of food. I think it's pretty decent. Like. Yes. So, let's trade. That's probably what we wanted. Um... Let's Continue on trail. No, bus supplies. We're gonna get some more food. Oh, it's more expensive here too. No, already buy. If you buy a hundred pounds, it's twenty-five dollars. Yeah. How much do we have? Nine hundred. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. Buy like three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds? That's seventy-five dollars. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's good. Let's leave store. That's okay. Yes. That's the worst. Alright, and that was, that was it? Yeah. That was our... That was pretty good. That was our little playthrough of the game. Um, from then on, you would just keep traveling the trail and pretty much doing the same thing, just trying to stay alive. Yep. Alright, thank you.